My name is Dave Omolu and today we'll be talking about something that is very interesting and actually um, the source of all of the things on Dave's death. But before we do that as, you, as usual, I'd actually like to request that you kindly subscribe to this page and also hit the bell button so that when a new episode of Dave's name comes up, you actually are notified. So let's dive right in. So recently on some parts of social media, particularly on LinkedIn, I've been making various announcements about different products from Get Funded Africa. As some of you know, um, and telling everyone else as well, I am the CEO and co-founder of a company called Get Funded Africa. And many people have actually asked lots of questions. Probably after watching Babel's Den, they followed me online and they associated me with Get Funded Africa. And so the questions that have been raised about Get Funded Africa. So today, I'm actually going to try and answer as much as possible questions about Get Funded Africa that I have gathered, you know, kind of like put together um, and to answer all the questions that people have had. So um, the very, very obvious one that I get asked a lot is what is Get Funded Africa? By extension, what is Get Funded? So it's very straightforward, or I will try to simplify in this particular episode. So Get Funded Africa is what I call a venture service firm. So when I say a venture service firm, what that means is that a company that actually tries to solve the problems of business ventures. So generally speaking, there are six problem areas that we see that entrepreneurs and founders face. These areas include, and it's not isolated to these, but everything from fundraising to business knowledge and know-how to learning and development to other things including skills development, telling the stories of African startups, to name a few. Now, all of these things, Get Funded Africa then builds products to solve those problems. Sometimes it involves building a product, leveraging technology or AI. Sometimes it involves developing partnerships. But essentially, we're able to build all these solutions and products to solve the problem in, one, in a one-stop shop for entrepreneurs and startups. That's pretty much what Get From in Africa does. And I've simplified it, or maybe even oversimplified it. But at the end of the day, that really is what Get Funded is about. Now, allow me to take a deeper, or step back, or a deeper meaning of what Get Funded Africa actually does. I told you how we do it with products, but you have to understand, and I've said this before, and I'm probably repeating myself time and time again for those of you that follow the most then. We have a problem in Africa. Part of the problem is poverty. And to fight poverty, we're not going to fight poverty with poverty, right? No, we're not. So what we're going to do is to fight poverty with knowledge and wisdom. If we look around across other countries, how have they actually overcome poverty? Part of what they've done, and something I've said before as well, that, shaped, that has shaped the modern world is venture capital. And so, what Get Funded Africa does is to harness and to look at what are the problems that other continents have faced in the past to overcome poverty. And then this fight against poverty, how have they actually done it? And so, we've literally taken from the various countries, from the various history books to say, venture capital is a way to empower companies that are going to you know, solve problems in societies, bring up innovative ideas, hire tons and tons of people, and you know, generally make life better, the quality of life better across the African continent. 
So we, by extension, have decided to say, how can we create, how can we fight poverty and create opportunities for the generality of Africans and the African continent? And so this is part of the reason, or the underlying reason, why Get Funded Africa exists as a venture service company. And probably you have a better understanding now of what we're trying to achieve. So now I'm going to go into some of the questions. Now I can't take each and every question that has been asked of me about Get Funded Africa. So what I've done is I have aggregated the questions into about eight you know, big headline questions and I'll take them one by one. So the very first one is can we invest in my company? And this I get um, a lot. Uh, typically on LinkedIn, I think that's my most active social media profile. The answer at the moment is no. So remember I said something, I said Get Funded Africa is a venture service company and that's different from a venture capital company. The difference, it's a slight nuance, but it's, it's, it's um, an important one. So a venture capital company will typically invest directly in your company. So um, you say you are a startup, you want to raise a million dollars, and so you need somebody to invest in your company. So you're going to talk to venture capital investors. Now remember this, they may or may not know you or they may or may not invest in your company. And even if they do invest in your company, it's very likely that they might invest a certain percentage. So let's say you want to raise a million dollars and you talk to several investors. Um, you might need to talk to a hundred investors before you get one of them interested. And that one that is interested probably maybe may say, I like your business, I'm going to invest a hundred thousand dollars out of the one million that you need. So you've got to know win. Yay! But you still have nine hundred thousand dollars left to actually raise. So what Get Funded Africa does is rather than you going to meet all these different investors and all, is that you come to Get Funded Africa, literally a one-stop shop, and we're able to talk to our venture capital network. And today we have over 200 venture capital partners from across the world, Europe, Asia, uh, America, um, and even within Africa as well. And leveraging our network and our services, we're able to get you two, three, four, five, whatever number of investors that can help you fulfill and meet that million dollar fundraising target. So very likely it could be that we get one company as the lead investor. That one company, say for example, will invest say 250,000 and then we're able to get several other venture capital firms to then also invest. So literally you have us as a venture service company because we have the various pools of venture capital investors and angel investors and we're able to pull all this network of people and funds into your business to actually invest. So again, to answer your question, no. At the moment, we don't invest in companies, but because we're a venture service company, we're able to pull the investment of all the other VC firms into your company. Now, I should even mention, um, many venture capital firms are also our customers, because typically what happens for the venture capital investors uh, is that they say, okay, I have this company, I'm interested in this company, but I'd like to get other investors to join me. And so sometimes they reach out as well to get funded Africa to also, and this is for VCs, to also help them get co-founders to also invest in the startups. So this is why you know we're, we're unique. Um, there are not many venture service companies out there in Africa at the moment, but we're unique, even globally, we're unique in this sense because we're able to pull you know, a huge force um, of investors from around the world into specific startups. Another question that I get asked a lot is um, can 
and you thought we did invest on it. Um, the fact that this question is even being asked is a good thing because it, it's progress from two years ago where people said, hey, I just need money. And then when you then ask, okay, if you need money, do you understand what the venture capital firms are asking for? And many said no. So being or just having that question of can you help me get investor in this progress? Now, when people say investor ready or investor readiness, what do they actually mean? They're really saying that um, the, you have to understand how venture capital works. So venture capital is different from um, a loan from the bank, for example. So if you are collecting money from a bank, that's debt. So um, you are going, you're borrowing money, and you're going to repay that money. Depending on the type of bank, um, typically you get or you will pay that money back plus an interest at a predetermined point in time. So typically that's a loan from the bank. However, in venture capital, what happens is somebody says, typically a venture firm or an angel investor, that I'm going to invest in your company, right? But in exchange for investing in your company, I want a certain percentage of your company. So meaning that the person is purchasing equity in your company. And, and, and that's how um, venture capital works. They're giving you funds today, now, as a runway for you to develop, take your time to develop, grow, build whatever it is that you need to build, and then now accelerate and grow your business. And so essentially, um, with the question of investor readiness, it's more of you need to understand and know how venture capital works, what your investors are expecting from you, and how to build your business to take advantage of those funds. Those funds are available. Probably trillions of dollars that are out there to be invested in companies. But they are looking for specific types of businesses. And when I say types of businesses, not necessarily technology, but businesses that are set up to scale and grow relatively quickly. Um, for those of you interested, and, so, and this is uh, part of what Get Funded Africa does, we have a training course to get founders to understand the venture capital industry, how to take those funds and actually grow their businesses and to scale and do things. And with that, you can actually achieve what is called staged financing. You can raise funds, not just once from maybe investors, but you can literally on a state-by-state -state basis, continuously raise funds till you decide to maybe become a public company. So yes, Get Funded Africa can actually help you get investor ready. As I say this um, continuously, we have training in cohorts. So every few months, uh, I believe it's every three months, we have um, a training course for founders who want to learn how to get investor ready. And so please visit our website, getfundedafrica.com, and look out for the learning division and in the learning team you would see, um, uh, we call it internally, we call it Renzana, and that's our learning platform because we built an LMS from scratch to support our training cohorts. So, can Get Funded Africa help you to learn how to fundraise and learn how to, you know, talk to investors and things like that? The answer. So, um, a third one, a third question that we typically get is, can you actually help me grow my business? So, um, yes, you've, the answer immediately is yes. And when people say grow my business, they're actually talking about a few things. Um, this does not inculcate everything, but this is what, from experience, this is what typically they're talking about. So, they say things like, can you help me grow my business? sense of um, the tools needed to get that business into a very good operational process. Let's say, for example, um, when people say, can I help you grow my business? They are typically talking of, 
can you help me get people to join my team? So hiring and recruitment, for example, can you do this? Um, can you help with things like accounting uh, and all? And interestingly, Get Funded Africa has um, an e-store, and in this e-store, we have different templates that we have in there. So template for your financial accounting, and template for your expenses, and things like this. So we are able to help in terms of getting all those tools that you would need to actually grow your business. All those tools, we put them together and we have like a unit and a team um, called VBuild or Venture Building, which literally supports businesses in growing their business with different tools to help in that. So we simplified the entire process. So this includes everything from um, templates of pitch decks, templates of having to how to forecast uh, and create your revenue or your budgets. Um, also other tools including how to value your business and things like that. So our venture building arm is something that supports businesses and yes, we can help you to grow your business. Another question, obviously, is, um, I'll take this, can you help me find customers? That's a very good one. I like to think, I, I like to think and say that um, revenue is the sweetest form of fundraising. In a sense that you earn revenue, make a profit, and that in itself is cash that the business gets in and is useful. So revenue is a sweet form of, of fundraising. The answer though to the question itself is yes, we can help you find customers because that's the basis and essence of a business. We have a product that we call Insights and Insights is pretty much a lot of data and analytics that we've been able to gather from various sources and put together in one program, one, one, one platform. On our Insights platform, you are able to find, for example, you're able to find startups that maybe have raised funds, the industries that they are in. So if you are a startup looking for specific types of customers, then naturally with our insights, database and analytics platform, you can actually use that to find customers. You can use it to find customers, you can use it to target uh, the people to actually talk to. You can use it to know what exactly works for your own particular needs. Accountants can use it to um, find customers to provide bookkeeping services. Lawyers can use it to find clients that they can help with documentation and, and legal processes with. Um, marketing companies can use this. Literally any type of business that is looking for or to understand who to target, how to target them, how to get information, can find our insights platform very useful. So can we get cheap customers? The answer is yes. Um, I mean, there's a flip side to this, that can the insights platform work for everybody? I would say no, I don't think so. So again, it would just be interesting to understand what type of business you're in, but generally speaking, um, I think our insights platform works very well for um, service companies and even for um, companies that sell you know, hard physical goods and products, uh, depending on what it is again. Uh, so that way you can actually leverage the platform. But this, these are some of the things, so I would say this, this one is more of a yes, but, <laughs> let's put it that way. Yes, we can help you find customers, but it depends on the type of customers that you're looking And um, yes, another question that is asked is, and this one I think is pretty interesting, is can you help me tell my story or the story of my company to the rest of the world? The answer is yes. And, and this particular side of our business is something that 
we have to create intentionality around. Here's what I mean. We realized very early on that we, our job was to go out there and find innovative startups that were doing their own thing and solving problems in society. And we quickly realized that it was difficult finding these companies because many of these companies are not, how would I put it, many of these companies are not in the limelight. Many of these companies provide problems in their own individual localities. And unfortunately, in Africa, we don't have enough business type TV content. We have a few, but not enough. And so, unfortunately, if these companies were in other countries or other continents, there'll be a, a bit more buzz around them. But unfortunately, on the African continent, there isn't enough. And so we literally had to then set up our own news and content studio. Uh, and I've mentioned this before, and some of you can see it. It's media.getfundedafrica.com. And basically, on that platform, we talk about businesses. We talk about what companies are doing. And so we have people that write articles about different businesses. We have videos. In fact, Favors Den, even though it's hosted on YouTube, it's hosted on YouTube and also embedded on our media page. So you can actually watch the videos there. And so basically, we intentionally created a media arm to our business, uh, a news and content arm. And basically, the news and content arm then goes and um, you know, talks about the stories of African companies. And interestingly, we're now being our articles, our videos, our podcasts are being seen around the world because people now trust that this is a credible source of business information on the African continent. So yes, we are happy to tell your story and I'm sure that if you visit our um, news and content page, our team will be very, very happy to talk to you um, and learn from you. I think one of the things we forget is because we've built up a lot of knowledge about the things that we do, we forget that the world also wants to learn about what we do. And this is even for founders. So it's important to come up with you know, something um, and feel free to approach the entire team at Get Fun in Africa. We'll be very, very happy to talk to you. So yes, we can actually help tell your story to the rest of the world. Another one, and this is very interesting, because um, as human beings, we are created to talk to other people, network and connect with other people. So a question that we get asked, or I get asked a lot, is do you do things that can um, make me meet up with people or connect or network with people? And the answer is yes. So we have an event, team and platform section of our business where we organize events on a regular basis and bring people together. We are living in a brand new world, in a way, especially post-COVID, where now we now have the ability to do virtual or physical events, or even hybrid, where you can mix both physical and virtual. And so, yes, we organize events both ways, um, hybrid, online, physical, uh, across the board. And this is something that we found many people find very, very, especially founders or VCs or corporate organizations, find these to be very, very useful. So the answer to this is yes, and it's important um, to go out there and even learn what it is that other people are doing. Particularly other people maybe in your industry uh, who have interesting items to actually offer. You will be surprised as the number of people that have said, hey, um, this is what I'm doing. However, I'm looking for partners to do this. And the beauty of it is almost like alchemy in a way. You mix A with B and then the resultant effect is C. And this is you know, part of the power of innovation. Two startups get to meet, they talk about different things and then they're able to create something that is bigger, and better than just the sum of the individual parts.
So the two parts together combine, result in something that is bigger than the sum of the individual parts. We've seen this happen over and over and over again on our network um, platform and events, events platform. And so this is something that we actually do. We do this intentionally and create that opportunity for founders to come together, to talk, to network, uh, not just founders, but even you know venture capital firms. Earlier in March, Get Funded Africa organized our first um, venture capital summit, which was just a discussion for different venture capital firms. We had over uh, 17, I believe it was 17 different VC companies speak, and we had over 50 of all over 50 other venture capital firms attending the summit. It was very exciting. Um, we did it virtually. It was the first time that we did that. Um, but you know, just speaking about that and remembering that, just reminding me as to how it's not just founders alone that actually need to network. VCs need to network, and by extension, even corporates need to network. So just watch out and look out on the Get Funded Africa platform. We're organizing a corporate venture summit which would be just more for large organizations um, coming together and discussing how they can positively affect the startup ecosystem in Africa. Now, there's one more thing that I, I, I added this to this because it's not a question that we're asked. In truth, we haven't really, really come out there to talk about this. I've mentioned it a few times, but people, a few people have gotten a cue on it and have asked questions around it, and so I'm just going to talk about it briefly today. We have said one of the things that we plan to do is to build, we call it GFA Max. Max! Now, GFA Max is really a platform where you can actually be entertained, but even in the entertainment, you're learning business lessons. That's what it's about. Typically, when people learn, they go to classrooms, listen to what people say, da 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 da, da and pretty much learn about what has been said by other people. Right? But one of the ways we have different mental states and different states at which you know there's, there's learning. Sports people like to get into what the experts call a theta state, where it's a, it's a state of accelerated and learning, where you can grasp several things um, at the same time. And typically, we have noticed that lots of people typically do this in front of a TV. So pretty much you're watching TV or you're engrossed in what the person is saying or the actions that are being performed in front of you. And so we then decided to start something, create a series of videos professionally done, professionally edited. And in those videos and the series, we pretty much create TV shows and things around what people are doing generally. And literally then, you know, telling, creating a narration around these live events or real events, let's call it real events, not live, around these real events. And all these real events, putting it on one platform, GFE original content, and that platform we've called Get Funded Africa or GFE. So GFA Max today is in development. The technology behind you know, pretty much creating a streaming video on demand platform. We have that, we're building that. And then we are actually now shooting content across the continent of real businesses and telling the narration of what these businesses are actually doing. So this is something to actually look out for. Because we also believe that whilst we're doing this shooter, narrating these different real stories, right, you are also going to be learning and you will also be a beneficiary of this. 
So that's it. It's a wrap for Bema's day today. Uh, we focus more on Get Funded Africa. I hope you've liked it. And uh, please feel free to drop comments, uh, particularly for those maybe on YouTube, drop a comment on the, you know, in the comment section. I like to read those comments and I'm always very happy to answer them. Otherwise, feel free to follow me on LinkedIn. On LinkedIn, my full name is Adibola on Wallaloo. And you can find me there and connect with me. Ask me any questions, always happy to talk to you. Once again, welcome and thank you for watching. It was better.